Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous sessions, we talked about a lot of topics related to IC engines like their operation, components, PV diagrams, etc. Today, we will talk about a very interesting subject. Do you want to know what I'm talking about? Let's first try to think what would happen if we refuel our car with diesel instead of petrol or vice versa. How are petrol engines and diesel engines so different? Let's find it out. Firstly, we all know that petrol engines are spark ignition engines and diesel engines are compression ignition engines. Am I right? Just as the name suggests, spark ignition engines engines require a spark for the combustion of the air fuel mixture. On the other hand, compression ignition engines do not need a spark. Since a spark is needed for combustion, a spark plug is used in SI engines. On the other hand, there is no need for a spark plug in CI engines. To initiate the combustion process, CI engines use a fuel injection system. We didn't mention the biggest difference between SI and CI engines, did we? Well, in spark ignition engines, a mixture of air and fuel is supplied to the engine cylinder during the suction stroke. This air fuel mixture is compressed to high pressure and then ignited with the help of a spark plug. On the other hand, in combustion ignition engines, the air is supplied to the engine cylinder during the suction stroke. This air is then compressed to very high pressure during the compression stroke. A fuel injector is used to spray fuel on the compressed air which initiates the combustion process. We've come this far, why not go farther? All SI engines employ auto cycle for operation. On the other hand, CI engines employ diesel cycle for slow speed engines and dual cycle for high speed engines. We mentioned air fuel mixture a moment ago, didn't we? SI engines use an air fuel ratio of 10 is to 1 to 20 is to 1. On the other hand, CI engines employ an air fuel ratio of 18 is to 1 to 100 is to 1. Furthermore, SI engines have a compression ratio of up to 11 compared to 12 to 24 for CI engines. This is because in CI engines, the air needs to be compressed more for the ignition process to take place. Let's compare the operation pressure of these engines. For SI engines, the compression pressure is 7 bar to 15 bar. The maximum pressure for SI engines is 45 bar to 60 bar. The compression pressure for CI engines is 30 bar to 50 bar, while the maximum pressure for the same is 60 to 120 bar. And no, we didn't forget about operation speeds of SI and CI engines. In the case of SI engines, the operation speed is 2000 to 6000 RPM for high speed engines. On the other hand, slow speed CI engines maintain a speed of 400 RPM, while medium speed CI engines operate at a speed of 400 to 1200 RPM. Lastly, high speed CI engines operate at a speed of 1200 to 3500 RPM. What about the calorific values? Calorific value is the energy contained in the fuel, determined by measuring the heat produced by the complete combustion of a specified quantity of it. SI engines use petrol which has a calorific value of 44 megajoule per kilogram. On the other hand, CI engines use diesel which has a calorific value of 42 megajoule per kilogram. Petrol has a much lower flash point and higher volatility when compared to diesel. This means diesel requires a much higher temperature for proper combustion. If we use diesel to run a petrol engine, the engine may not start due to incomplete combustion of fuel. This is because combustion won't be initiated by the spark plug. On the other hand, using petrol in diesel engines may damage the engine components. This is because detonations are triggered when the highly volatile petrol passes into a region of highly compressed hot air. Now let me ask you one question, can we operate SI and CI engines in two strokes? Let's find it out. Due to fuel loss during the scavenging process, SI engines are less suitable for two-stroke operation. For CI engines, there is no fuel loss during scavenging. Hence, CI engines are more suitable for two-stroke operation. We must note that even with less suitability, small two-stroke SI engines are used in mopeds, motorcycles and scooters. This is because of their low cost and simplicity. SI engines are being used in mopeds, scooters, motorcycles, cars, small aircrafts, etc. On the other hand, CI engines find their applications in buses, trucks, locomotives, heavy machinery, etc. That's all for today. In this video, we compared SI and CI engines on the basis of various criteria like operation pressure, cycle, etc. We'll be back with new content very soon. So stay tuned and stay safe. Until the next one, bye.